Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding calculating variance percentage of sales using DAX functions and floating it into a combo chart. So we can start with the details. So how we are going to get the sales percentage, I mean variance percentage. First, we need to know the current sales of the month. Then if you know the current sales of the month, then with that you can get the previous month sales. And if you have both current month sales and previous month sales, you will be able to get the MOM that is variance. And of course, once you get the variance, the next thing is that you can get the variance percentage the variance and the previous month sales and then you can use a combo chart and plot it in. so we will start it as with a simple example we are having a data set here and the data set we are having an orders table which we have the sales and a calendar table of course we have already have the total sales which we have given the DAX function and got it. So now we will take a table here and we will plot the things inside the table. We will plot the date and in this date we need the year and the date only. I mean year and the month only and we will be taking the total sales. Now we have the total sales with respect to the months. Now we need to get the previous, of course you can use two, three functions to get the previous month. We are going to use the parallel period function for getting the previous months. So we can create a new measure and we will write it as previous month. Previous month sales equals to calculate total sales. And then we will be giving a, we will be giving using the time intelligence function, parallel period. And in this parallel period, we can simply give the order date name and a negative ones that is a previous month and we can give the month itself. So with the symbol method, we will be getting the previous month sales and we will select that previous month to this table. And of course, we got the previous month sales. You can see all the previous month sales it has been shown in this. Now, the next thing what we need to get is month over month or previous month and total sales current month's difference. So that we can use the simple mathematical subtraction to get the difference. And you can give it as variance itself, variance equal, or you can give it as MOM itself, month over month. It is total sales minus previous month sales. You can select that also. Sorry. We have given it as equals to, now we will give it as minus. So we got the difference between the current month and the previous month. This total sales, we will give it as current month. Now we need to get the various percentage, that is MOM percentage. So percentage has been calculated by getting the variance in the numerator, the previous month sales in the denominator. Just by dividing it, you will be getting the variance percentage. So you can create the new measure and variance sales percentage equals to divide you can use divide function the numerator will be the variance and denominator will be the previous month and if there is any error we will return it as zero and you can select that also inside the table and at the same time you can select the percentage symbol here so it will be showing the exact percentage of that if you want to check whether it is correct or what you can just check and see and the calculation done by it will be almost similar because the current month is this much and the previous month is this much and obviously there is not that much difference that's why it is showing it as minus four percentage at the same time here when we see here there is a big difference 67 percentage the current month is four and the previous month is almost half of that so that is why it is showing a 67 percentage of increase so now we are going to plot this in a combo chart we are, we are going to use this line and cluster column chart we need to show it properly what we what we want to show so we will be taking the composite line and cluster chart and we will use it here and we can drag it here to get a better view. And here we can give the order date. We need the month only. Okay. So we are going to take out the year. We are going to take out the quarter. We are going to take out the date. We will be using the month only because here we are going to give it in a slicer. Then we will be taking the current month and the previous month. So at first it will be showing this because it will be taking the entire full amount it is showing. That is why it is showing like this. And now we will be moving the variance percentage to the line column chart. So in showing it, when you select the particular year, it will be showing properly. So now we have enabled the data labels. That's why all the values are being shown. If you want additionally, you can you can get the tooltip also. If you want to get the percentage, I mean profit or something, you can drag and drop the profit here in the tooltip also to get more details of it. Now at this same time, we are going to get a slicer. And in the slicer, we are going to give the date. That is the year one only the year and we can give it a drop down so when you select the year we are selecting 2010 of course for 2010 it is showing everything properly here also we are, ge we are getting everything properly with respect to 2010 and here in this chart also it has been generating properly hope this was an interesting video have a nice day